What's up everyone, Pritch here, and today we're going to go over all of the changes coming to the Warhammer that are already in the public test server that are going to be making their way live soon in the November patches. The goal with several of the Warhammer buffs was to make the Juggernaut tree power stand out a bit more from the Crowd Crusher tree, as well as funnel some of the power of Shockwave's rend to the Armor Breaker's rend. Alright, cool. Armor Breaker, adjusted hitbox to make it easier to hit enemies that have been knocked down or on inclines. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Finally! So for those that don't know, you go Shockwave into Wrecking Ball into Insert Third Ability. None of the third abilities felt good. You wanted to use Armor Breaker, but Armor Breaker wouldn't hit knocked down enemies. So you couldn't use Armor Breaker. Now, you can hopefully use Armor Breaker, which does great damage and is an all-around great ability. Oh my gosh. Lasting Trauma. Increased Rend Effectiveness from 15% to 20%. So the Rend on Armor Breaker gets increased. Love it. Opening Act. Increased Bonus Damage from 15% to 25%. Hello. Mighty Gavel, which is the Donk Donk ability. The one that has, you can spec into the final one and it gives you the second Donk. Increased damage scaling from 160% to 170%. Reduced the cooldown from 22 seconds to 20 seconds. And the Justice for All, which is the final one, increased the damage scaling from 200% to 220%. Basically, Mighty Gavel gets to do more damage. I love it. Looks good. Wrecking Ball. Increased damage from 120% to 130%. Safety measures. Increased 4 to 5 buff duration from 4 seconds to 7 seconds. Warhammer is just going to get a lot of love, it looks like. I mean, these are great changes. I'm loving it. Um, the Mighty Gavel damage, I'm down for because, frankly, uh, in PvE content, it's just going to be helpful. And in PvP content, good PvP players probably aren't going to get hit by that second, you know... They shouldn't get hit by Justice for All. If they are, it means that they're getting CC locked by uh, good coordinated uh, Warhammer combos or spear combos or whatever, right? Like, people have to combo that stuff. Clear out. Swing away. Fixed an issue where this upgrade was less efficient when striking more targets. Didn't know that existed. I'm glad it's not going to exist anymore. Shockwave. Sundering Shockwave, which is the item perk, reduced the maximum rend effectiveness from 20% to 10%. I'm not going to lie, this is actually a very huge nerf. Um, th this, is, this is a huge nerf. Um, Shockwave is the AoE stun. The 99% of people combo that are good with Bruiser is Gravity Well into Shockwave. The Gravity Well guarantees the Shockwave. The Shockwave guarantees the Wrecking Ball. The Wrecking Ball guarantees a mediumly charged up heavy or some ability, like Mighty Gavel, right? Um, you are taking advantage of a 20% rend when you use Sundering Shockwave, which 99% of Warhammer users are using that, especially because you can get a 570 Warhammer from the Garden of Genesis uh, quest line. Um, expedition that has Sundering Shockwave on it. Um, so you're getting your Ren cut in half. And that's actually a huge deal, at least in my opinion. Um, that Not only does that mean that uh, Sundering Shockwave is half as valuable, but it also means that it, unless they change the way that uh, debuffs are stacking and buffs are stacking, now when using Sundering Shockwave, you have to make sure that you're not trying to stack that with other applications of a 10% rend. For example, um, Perforate. Perforate are, is three 10% rends. If you have a Perforate on people that are you know 10% rends and you throw something else that's a 10% rend, the other stuff doesn't, it doesn't stack together kind of thing. So... Uh, I'm going to be really interested to see if they've changed the way that works and how reducing Shockwave is going to affect wars, because this is huge in wars. I mean, straight up, every bruiser is using this. Path of Destiny. Leeching past Path of Destiny, which is, again, another item perk, fixed a bug that prevented this perk from working when the Stimulated Reduction Modifier was equipped. Uh, basically, this didn't work at all. 
And now they're hopefully going to say it works. <laughs> that's, that's the hope. That's the prayer. Exhaustive attacks. Increased stamina regeneration penalty applied by the exhausted debuff from 15% to 20%. Um, in reality, this is going to have zero impact on your life. It's still going to go up super fast. And you're probably not going to feel this in any way, shape, or form. That said, it's still helpful. Uh, especially because it's applying a debuff. And a lot of classes uh, work together well with having hitting something that has a debuff. So uh, I'm, I'm cool with the upgrade. I'm cool with the change. I'd be cool if you even made it 25 to 30%. I'm just going to throw that out there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything on the Warhammer coming up. Um, as always, for those on YouTube, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Boom, three down.